everybody. Welcome to our tour of Hins Dam. The Hins Dam is a rock and earth fill embankment dam with an ungated spillway across the Narang River in the Gold Coast hinterland of southeast Queensland, Australia. The main purpose of the dam is for potable water supply of the Gold Coast region. Potable water basically means you can drink it. The impounded reservoir is called Advanced Town Lake. Hins Dam was named in honour of local pioneers Carl and Joanna Hins. They were the grandparents of Queensland politician Russ Hins, who lived in the valley that was flooded by the dam. It's so much fun at Hins Dam, you get to do cool experiments like testing water with buddies. This is where we did one of the experiments and see those big blocks? Those are called big teeth because they look like teeth. The Hins Dam wall is 108 metres high and 1,850 metres long. It can hold 310,730 megalitres of water when at full capacity. It's hard to understand how large the dam wall is so we've included a tiny ant human to help you understand. See that little guy in red down there? Part of the Hins Dam is the Fishway. Prior to the Stage 3 upgrade in 2008, Hins Dam was a barrier to fish passage since its original construction in the mid 1970s, preventing migration upstream. So, as part of Stage 3, a fishway was constructed in order to restore the natural environment and migration patterns in the rivers upstream and downstream of the Hins Dam. And if you didn't really understand all of that, basically, it's Uber for fish and eels. Eels and fish are transported by this system. It helps them get across the dam wall. This was a new feature in the stage three build of the dam in 2008. The dam has had three expansions in 40 years. Eels migrate all the way from New Caledonia. That is a long way to travel. It is 1,500 kilometers. Here's the big ruler. As we mentioned before, the dam is 108 meters tall. Can you see the big ruler? If you can't, here it is. This is the catchment area. The catchment area is the area that collects all the water for the dam. This water will be very clean because there are no farms or factories. The big teeth. What do you think the big teeth are for? Well, the big teeth are actually for slowing down water. Spot the wheelbarrow. Sometimes rocks are carried into the spillway and these are manually collected. These pipes drain water from the ground away from the wall and into the spillway. It's not actually water from the dam, but groundwater. Here is another perspective of the spillway lookout. You now have a good idea of the enormity of the dam wall. We did an experiment. Get a jug and put three holes in it. One hole at the top, one hole at the, in the middle, and one hole at the bottom. Then cover the holes with tape. After you're done with that, fill the jug with water. Then take the tape off. So here's a spoiler alert. If you don't want to see the results, stop the video now and go and do your experiment. So what did you find? Which hole shoots the strongest stream of water? I'll give you a clue. Have a look at the arrows and how long they are. Why is that? There is more pressure at the bottom hole. That's right. So you're going to get the longest stream of water at the bottom. Science is cool! cool. test with buddies. Here's a picture of me and my buddy doing water testing. There was a pattern at the bottom of the tube and we had to keep on pouring it until we couldn't see the pattern anymore. Down our observation. The number we got for clear water was 15 
and the number we got for dirty water was 200. Flocculation is the process where particles in water are separated to form a sediment. The sediment from Hins Dam forms a sludge that is used to help plants grow. Maintaining good water quality is important. For example, having good water quality and suitable levels of dissolved oxygen are important for aquatic life. So here are some facts. The Stage 3 dam took 300 people three years to raise it 15 metres above Stage 2 using 5 million tonnes of rock, half a million tonnes of clay at a cost of $395 million to provide 225 million litres of water per day. How crazy is that? stretches all the way from the Sunshine Coast right through to the Gold Coast and is a series of interconnected pipelines, treatment plants and reservoirs that allow the supply of potable water throughout southeast Queensland. It allows us to move treated drinking water around the region. It's very handy when some parts get less water than other parts and this often happens in times of drought. So here are some quick facts on the Southeast Queensland water grid. It has 12 dams, 36 water treatment plants, three advanced water treatment plants, one desal, did you know that? We've got a desal on the Gold Coast, 28 bulk water reservoirs and 22 pump stations. It includes 600 plus kilometers of pipelines and it also services an off-grid community, well actually 16 of them, containing 53,000 people. Now obviously this is not to scale but one of the cool activities we got to do was build a model of the South East Queensland water grid. So please make sure you subscribe to our channel and if you like what we've done give us a thumbs up, check out more videos here and thank you so much for watching. This has been an Education Republic production. Education Republic is a not-for-profit organisation supporting homeschoolers. We thank South East Queensland Water for their support and resources in making this video.